okay next we are going to do uh, task to see lah, where we will change um, air into water and the flow is turbulent okay so firstly kita kena clone and then create new and then kita akan uh, guna setup uh, yang inilah ya uh, so boleh refer your slides uh, dekat sini ok so we go here kita boleh create uh, clone clone project so uh, create new right so default saja so this one flow over flat plate um, buat nama dia uh, water Okay. Right, so go back here lah. Alright, so akan ada sini lah uh, flow over flat plate uh, water. So everything highlighted lah, so they active. So um, setting yang lain kita kena ubah general setting. So we go back here general settings. So kita nak tukar internal okay, sini maintain uh, okay next. Yeah, sorry, general setting. Then kita pergi analysis type This one is analysis type Dia punya fluid kita nak water So kita kena tambah uh, liquid uh, Scroll until you get water at So this one kita boleh remove Just click air and then kita remove So kita ada water Then uh, lamina So referring to the slides It's going to be lamina and turbulent So this one is Lamina and turbulence apply. Okay, go to the wall condition. I believe it doesn't change. Uh, internal conditions, I think it's maintained uh, 5 meter per second. And then meshing, we need to change something lah. Uh, NX 400 and Y 200. So come here. Okay, apply. Okay. So now go to mesh, global mesh. Uh, 400 and 200 I believe ok so you can show machine lah ya yeah. ok let's see back this is the 400 by 200 control panel ratio for x is minus 5 y minus 100 so uh, ratio dia is defining cell not here Should you control panels? Okay, minimum is negative x ratio for x is negative five. So ratio for x is negative five, and ratio for y is negative one hundred. So let's see what happen. So kita boleh zoom lah ya dekat kita punya meshing. So dekat sini dia telah refine meshing tu dekat sini. Dekat wall sinilah. Okay. Right so okay. Next uh, everything's okay. Uh, boundary condition inlet 5 ok so this one is maintained as previous boundary condition yang ada lah so it's ok nak boleh cuba check situ inlet and then static pressure over there we have real wall and kita ada ideal wall dekat situ ok yang lain what else do we need to change ok uh, so right here is under equation goal number 1 dia punya velocity tu kena tukar sebab right now we are using water tadi kita guna, before this we use air so they have a different viscosity which is 1.004 E negative 6 so we need to change the uh, Renault number so click double click and modify lah 1.006 E negative 06 uh, let me check 1.004 E negative 6 4 ok, copy con select that one, control C then kita just ok uh, and then modify for the others lah 
Metro V. Okay. So this one also we change. Metro V. So this one also. Metro V. Okay. Alright. So what else do we need to change? Okay, uh, next is the friction factor. So, dia punya density berubah sedikit lah. 998. Kat sini eh, 998. So, uh, let's check average friction coefficient di sini. Dia punya, uh, dia pakai 1.204. So, kita kena tukar dia kepada 998. Uh, Alright, should be okay. Half, okay. So, okay. Right. So, what else do we need to change? Okay. So, this is a sample of the punya um, results. So, let's see. So, kita nak run lah. Okay, meshing. So, firstly, make sure that you create the mesh ataupun kalau you just run, make sure that you tengok balik meshing lah. So, cuba kita tengok dia punya status lah. Dia akan jadi banyak jugalah Dia punya fluid cells dia 78,400 Okay uh, We wait for the simulation to finish Okay The calculation already finish So Close it And we want uh, Based on this slides the results want us to compare the velocity at x 0 0.2 and 0 0.6 meter so you need to load the results here for 0 0.6 and 0 0.2 so delete the 0 0.4 lah okay so uh, just export to excel This is the data. Okay, let's create another Excel uh, file to compare lamina and mm, turbulent. First, we need to create a new file, uh, Excel file to for task uh, dua C. Okay, to C. Uh, for these results lah, comparing the velocity and also to tabulate and compare the average friction coefficient for lamina and uh, turbulent so firstly we uh, open a new sheet and then rename it to x equals to 0 0.2 uh, meter and then we plot lamina uh, lamina flow and then I have turbulent flow. Okay, lamina flow ni kita obtain from task 2A. So, this is the results. Yang kita ada lah. Uh, this one for 0 0.6. So, saya copy dulu. Ctrl C. Uh, copy here. Ctrl V lah. And then, macam biasa kita kena transfer dia dekat uh, second column. So, velocity first column, length second column. Untuk tebulan ni, saya dah export data dia tadi kat sini. So, what you can do, just uh, copy the punya data ni. Uh, ada 0.2, 0.6. So, saya copy dulu. Ctrl C. Untuk 0.2 dululah ya. Uh, so, this one Ctrl V. So, sekejapnya saya ubah this data ke sini. And then, we delete this. Okay, so this is the bullet flow uh, untuk X 0.2. So, another, eh, kita buat X sama dengan 0.6. Uh, uh, so, this one you can do on your own lah. I'll just show you how to do this one. Okay, so firstly, kita plot dulu. Okay, insert. Uh, sketch the plot semata and then kita add another uh, data which is the side lah so this one edit dululah sebab ni adalah um, sama dengan lamina flow ok 
Okay. Add. See this one is turbulent flow. Edit. X still adalah this value. And this one is okay. All right. Okay. So right now nothing happening. Uh, tak ada beza sikit. Ada slightly lah. Tapi kita boleh um, limit kan. Kita boleh zoom in lah area sini. Sebab it's still something different lah dekat sini. But not that much lah. Okay. So kita boleh apply template yang kita buat tadi just now. Okay. Uh, so nampak ada legend semua ya. So you can edit lah sikit. Uh, and then maybe kita boleh zoom in dekat This one tak ada beza sangat So I think something happening kat sini 0.05 So kita boleh format axis uh, Pergi ke 0.005 Okay so ada beza sikit lah dekat sini uh, This is turbulent uh, This is uh, lamina Okay so make sure that you Edit lah properly. Uh, title kena proper. Title Y axis, X axis and itu title of the figures lah. Kalau tak nak bumbu title dekat figure di sini pun, you can put it inside the word file. It's okay. Alright. Untuk average surface coefficient, average uh, friction lah. Friction coefficient. Uh, kena buat table dia macam ni lah. So, this one is uh, uh, lamina flow this is turbulent flow and then you can put the average uh, friction coefficient ok so kalau untuk and then uh, what's the different lah perbezaan mereka antara berdua hmm, adakah perlu compare tak tabulate and compare So, okay lah Boleh lah compare lah So, um, lamina flow uh, da Ambil data dia Lamina flow berapa persen And tembulan flow uh, Sorry, berapa dia punya coefficient And tembulan flow pun berapa dia punya coefficient And then kira perbezaan Antara tembulan with Lamina You can get the percentage lah What's the different Okay Mm, let's say lah let's say dalam sorry uh, kalau untuk lamina flow ni dia punya x dia is ada tak ah uh, this one this one untuk data lamina lah ya masa bila kita buat eh this this task 2a so this one so saya pun sini kalau untuk tebulan yang ini yang kita ada ni kita So, go plot dia. Kita boleh export to Excel. And then you can get this value. Control C. And then masuk dalam ni. Control V. Okay. Dan kita boleh calculate buat perbezaan lah. Ha. Uh, this one. Tolak. Berapa increase lah daripada. Sebab kita ada tengok dekat sini. So there's a lot of uh, ways lah for you to compare It's either perbezaan antara mereka berdua Or how much increase or decrease uh, One from the other lah So macam di sini kita tengok uh, Tebulan lagi tinggi Dia punya friction lah So maybe you tengok You boleh cari the nilai berapa Berapa increase Ya yeah, berapa increase dia So mm, this one Tolak uh, Lamina Bahagi dengan lamina So more or less lebih kurang 8.27% which is uh, the difference lah between the lamina dengan uh, turbulent flow. Okay. So make sure that you make up your table properly lah. Okay. So itu sajalah for this uh, task. Uh, do we see. Okay. Next, we'll look at how to perform parametric study for the task 2D.